it to make the headrest. This is the piece of foam we took out of the package. I took a piece of paper and traced my headrest of my husband's chair. Draw a line across where I'm going to cut out. So I ended up with a piece that looks like this that matches the chair. And then I cut an inch and a half, excuse me, half an inch around for the seam allowance. And this is two five inch circles. There's two of these. One seven inch zipper. This is 20 inches by two and a half inches. And then we have the straps here that I will make ties. And we started out with a piece that was 20 by two. And then I've ironed it and folded it in and just stitched it. These two pieces are seven and a half by 13. And I'm going to put them right sides together. I've searched the edges because I want that for the zipper I'm putting in. I'm going to sew two and a half inches this way and two and a half inches that way. And then I'm going to set the zipper in with pins. And then I will show you that and then I'm going to sew it. And this will make, eventually will make a tube. So we'll go to that point. Okay. All right, I'm going to pin the zipper in and I'm going to sew that in. I'm just going to sew around the outside. I'm going to watch my metal clips here and here so that I don't hurt my needle. Now I'm going to take this and unzip the zipper, turn it this way, and we're going to sew right along here to make a tube. So now I have a tube, but I have the zipper open. So I'm going to take our little round pieces. I'm going to put them in right in here, and I'm going to sew all the way around the edge. And then I'm going to search the edge also. So I'll do that part. And this one, you just ease it in there. I guess we could pin it, but... I didn't really want to pin it. <laughs> Looks like I have a tuck at the end. Okay. Okay, we're going to do another circle. Pleat on the zipper side. Okay, I'm starting on the side with the zipper. All right, that has completely dropped down. Okay. So what we have now is a tube like this. Now I can turn it inside out because I left the zipper open. Okay, so we've made a tube like that. Okay, so this is going to go, is the tricky part. This is our piece. 
we figured the top of the pillow needs to be about an inch and a half down. So now I'm going to, this is a little tricky part, go in here and I'm just going to sew a square right in there to attach it to my headpiece. I'm going to do that now. Folding this. Get my center. Like that. And then I'm also going to fold this lovely little thing. And I want my zipper down so that my other seam is up. So I will take this and fold it in half like that. Stick a pin in my seam. And then where my pin is, I think I will fold that down. Pull my pin out. Put it where my finger was. And now I'm going to line up my two pins. And it gives me an estimate where I want to put my box. you could draw this on here with a pen, a pencil, and box if you use that for your stitching line. Well, since I was a bit challenged with the tripod and the camera dropped, it's hard to see most of the sewing on this. So I'm going to show you here that I did just a rectangle sewed on the inside, inside the zipper to get it to this outside piece. And I did little boxes the same on the straps. You can barely see. To just to reinforce it. And that this just made a tube with the ends. Excuse me. I just made a tube with the end with a circle. So hopefully that will help. This is more of an intermediate project, um, but not too hard. And my husband's liking it, so it works well. Okay, I'm folding that up out of my way. So now our strip here, I'm just gonna take it and sew it along one edge of our backrest piece. I've sewed, here's our square, right here, and I've used a serger, you can use a sewing machine. This is what a goofy way it looks from the front. I'm going to cut this extra piece off here, but I made it extra long because I didn't know for sure. So now I will take the other piece and sew it on the other side. This is what it looks like. Looks like an uh, like a toaster cover. Huh. Okay, now we're going to flip that. This time I'm going to serge around the edge to finish that off. But you could fold it, which I will do, a quarter of an inch up. Okay. That's what it looks like right now. So now I'm going to hem this, which is what you could do, just to flip it up a quarter of an inch.
little. Hopefully this is gonna go on the top of that chair. But, okay, here's the straps. I'm gonna put one here and one on the back. And when I find a spot for that, I'm gonna match up my seams, close as they are. that side this side like that Extra threads. Okay, so just a little square. That's all I sewed to hold it on. So now we will take pins back out. And here's my little tubing. Now, what I did, this is the foam that came in the DSP gaming chair. And I rolled it up as tight as I could get it, put rubber bands on it. So now we're going to stick it in here and then we'll see, this goes inside the zipper pocket, we'll see how it fits on Ray's chair. Okay, so here it is. I just tied it with a bow. It's on the chair. Okay, sweetheart, let's see how that works for you. You got your game controller. Got the cup, let's see you lean back so you like it. That good? Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Um, and one thing that you might want to include is I found that the headrest was dropping down. So I had an old metal clip for brakes that I just oh, okay. clamped on one of these around the thinner part All so right. it doesn't go down anymore. Okay. Um, but yeah. All right, so that's making the a headrest pillow out of the foam piece that was in the DIA DPS gaming chair box. Yep. Okay, thanks for watching.